Hello everybody, good Sunday afternoon. It's hard to believe it's December, and it's December 1st, 2019. Today, I'm making something a little bit different. Now, you've seen me in the past making a pizza casserole, and then you've uh, seen me make a pizza pasta. Well, I'm going to turn that, I'm going to try to turn that pizza pasta into a pizza pasta bake. So, I want you to stay tuned sit back and enjoy and maybe uh, you can make it too. All right everybody welcome back. As I said uh, I'm going to try to turn my pizza pasta into a pizza pasta bake. So I've already done some things ahead of time and let me explain to you uh, what I've already done. Well first of all I took two 8-ounce packages of sliced mushrooms, one onion, and one green pepper, and I sautéed them in some oil, olive oil, and until they were uh, done, until the onions and green peppers were translucent, until the mushrooms were tender and they're ready to go. Now, I sauted them too, uh, so uh, they're ready to go. Now, here in this uh, pan, or in this skillet, I sauteed one pound of hamburger meat and a half pound of the rogue sausage that you get at the store that you fix for breakfast. Now, I've sauteed both of these together. Now, let me uh, tell you uh, what I've got going on here. Now, my mom doesn't like uh, green peppers, onions, and stuff in hers, but I do, so I'm going to fix a, a separate dish for her, and I'm going to fix a, 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 another dish for me which is going to include some of it. I'm not going to be able to use all of it, uh, but whatever I don't use, I'm going to put it into, into something else. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, I've got this. This is ready to go. I'm, I'm not going to drain it because it's going to help it to uh, make the casserole or the, your dish uh, more tastier. Okay? So, this is ready to go. So, I'm going to put it back up to about a medium high. And I've got a couple of jars of marinara sauce that I'm going to use. You can use your favorite store-bought one. Okay. Now, uh, don't let any of that go to waste. Okay, because you're going to need it. Now, I may not need that other jar, but I'll wait and see. Okay. Now, let me go get a couple of spices. Since I'm using onion powder in here, I mean, since I use onion, I'm not going to use onion powder, but I'm going to use garlic powder. And I'm going to use some Italian seasoning. I know that the, uh, the sauce has already got the spices stuff. I love to doctor it up. Okay, and might as well just go ahead and use the, the onion powder too. Okay, give it more flavor and some salt. Okay, now I'm going to stir this up. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now. Here's what I did as well. Uh, I took a pound box of penne rigate, and it's like this. It's a tubular shaped pasta. If you don't have that, you can use uh, the corkscrew. I'm thinking that's called fusilli or something like that. Uh, ro rotini. Rotini is what it's called. So uh, you can use any any type of pasta of your choice. If, if you've got macaroni, that's fine. Uh, you just want to cook it according to the package directions, but use the least amount of time that it says because it's going to cook in the oven when it's all said and done. Okay? Now, I don't think I'm going to use all of this, and I'll use this for, I'll use the rest of it for something else as well. Okay. Now.
coming up in this set, I'm going to put just a little bit more in there. And let me show you a trick. Don't throw away that pasta water right yet. When your pasta is done, uh, drain some of it into a big bowl or into a pot and reserve it. Now, this is how a lot of Italian people, uh, well, a lot of Italian people do, is they drink, when they use the pasta water, they got one of those things, gadgets called a spider, and I'm not talking about the, the eight-legged creature that scares a lot of people. Uh, including myself, I don't like spiders, but uh, I'm talking about it looks like a strainer and what they do It helps dip out the pot the pasta and puts it into uh, whatever dish now That's I, I don't have that but I'm gonna I'm gonna intend to get one. I intend to get one uh, really soon uh, but I reserve some pasta water in here and I'm going to Put that in here. I need to turn this heat down Okay And I guarantee you that this is going to be a lot of flavor, okay? And I'll use that rest of that sauce for something else, too. Okay? Using leftover pasta water, uh, just make sure that you have enough, okay? And depending upon how you like it. All right. Now, something else that I'm going to do. I'm going to put some pepperoni in here. While that's a cooking. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. And, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, what I did, I took four ounces of pepperoni, and I cut them up, and uh, I put them in here in this uh, skillet, along with other ingredients, and it's ready to go. Now, I'm going to add some cheese to it. I'm going to turn it off, because that's as much as I'm going to cook it. All right? So... Now you can use Italian cheese or mozzarella cheese. Now I've got I've got both. Uh, since uh, I didn't have uh, just one pack of a shredded Italian cheese, I'm using some mozzarella cheese, and I'm stirring it in here. Okay. You want to use two cups for, for one pack. Okay, I'm getting cheese all over the place, but that's okay. I'll clean it up. That pasta water really made the difference. And I might need to use some more. Because I don't want this to dry out. Okay. You know, I could have waited until I divided it up and then put the cheese in there. But uh, this will work out just as good. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm using this one for mom's because she don't like what I like in it. So here we go. And then whatever we don't we eat, we'll just give it away. We love feeding the hungry. Now, don't that look good? So, okay, now this is hers. Now I'm going to put some cheese on top of this. Alright, now, here's the fun part. I'm going to take some of this green pepper, mushroom, and onion mixture. 
and I'm going to put it in here. Okay. Now I'm not going to use all of it, but whatever I don't use, like I said, I'll put it in the another dish. Okay. I may just go ahead and use all of it. Because I like everything on my pizza whenever I eat pizza. Right that takes care of it right there. Now side this to the side. Now I'm going to, and I may need a what I'll need is a bigger pan. Okay, this is, looks like an 8 by 11 dish. Now, if your family likes uh, everything in theirs, then you could put it in one of those 13 by 9 by 2 glass dishes. Okay. You probably hear my youngest nephew in there. He is happy today. He's a happy baby. Boy, don't that look good. Now, if I had black olives, I would put it in here too because I like black olives. I like green olives, black olives, any kind of olive. Okay. Just about done. Oh, that looks incredibly good. And I'm so thankful for that too. This shouldn't take too long to put in the oven, probably about 25, 30 minutes, okay? All right, here we go. Now, I'm gonna take some of this cheese. I'm going to put some over here. Whoops, I got some in the floor, but it's okay. I'll clean it up. All right, there we go. Into the oven, 350 degrees for about 25, 30 minutes. So I want you to stay tuned. All right, everybody, welcome back. My pizza pasta bake is done. It was in the oven for about 30 minutes, and it's been resting for a few minutes, and that's very important. Uh, once you uh, take it out of the oven, let it sit for about 10 minutes or so, and it'll, it'll uh, be better. Okay, so I've already cut this one. This is the one that I've got everything in it. The green peppers, the mushrooms, the onion, the whole nine yards. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. That looks good. Okay. And whatever we don't eat, I'm going to give it away. So other people will enjoy it too. So I want you to stay tuned. I'm going to sample it for you. All right, everybody, uh, I'm ready to eat. I've already said a blessing, and I'm excited how this is going to taste. Mmm. That's really good. I'll take another bite. Mmm. I'm so thankful. All right. Thanks for watching. Keep on subscribing. Comments are welcome. Have a blessed Sunday.